Okay, welcome to the Domo and AWS webinar on how to harness the full potential of IoT data. My name is uh, Prashant Adiraju. I'm the global segment leader for IoT at AWS, where I focus on partnerships. Uh, today, I'm excited to co-present this webinar with Stacy, who is the Vice President of Cop Dev at Domo, that's helping customers accelerate the digital transformation with IoT. In this webinar, we will cover three things. The first thing is around the IoT landscape, and we'll talk about what are all the interesting things customers are doing with IoT, and we'll touch upon some of the fundamentals of IoT. The next section, Domo will present their proposition for IoT and how they are helping customers accelerate their IoT initiatives. And the third section will wrap up with some suggested next steps. So let me dive into the, the first section around the IoT landscape. The IoT enabled digital transformation is helping companies across various sectors shift how they do business to essentially create new and differentiated business value. This gives them the improved ability to gather, analyze massive data sets generated by IoT devices. And it's helping companies gain additional insights and a comprehensive understanding of their customer needs. Now, these insights can get proactively applied to drive operational efficiencies, cost savings, creating new offerings and services and products. Now, here are a few examples of what customers are doing with AWS IoT. For example, Visio has selected AWS IoT Core for the complete lineup of smart televisions and sound bars. Pentair provides beer and water filtration systems to large industrial brewing customers. NL uses AWS IoT for energy management. G has an edge solution that's being placed into the field, including 3D printers and aviation for foam wash carts. Philips Healthcare has built a digital platform to address the challenges of connecting and supporting healthcare devices. Panasonic Avionics has got an in-flight entertainment system and almost 2,000 other in-flight connectivity solutions are installed in aircrafts. Uh, Deutsche Bahn, a German train and railway company is using IoT to track wagons on train lines. So as we look at this space of IoT, at AWS, you know, we start our customer engagements in IoT with a very simple question. And with this question, you know, our mission is to make sure that you can know the state of everything, all of your devices, and then you can reason on top of that data so that you can really truly solve business problems. So IoT is a great investment if it's focused on business outcomes. Now, as we looked at in the previous slide, there were several examples of how AWS IoT is helping a lot of customers solve their business problems. Whether it's predictive maintenance and industrial with high value assets, whether it's wellness and health management like Philips, a product and process optimization that many smart home product companies are doing, connected buildings and cities, or fleet management like Trimble, or energy and efficiency monitoring like NL. All of these use cases are focused around very specific business outcomes. And this is in a sense, what it means is IoT, when focused on business outcomes, is a great investment. Now, if you look at what strategies do customers deploy when it comes to IoT, it's about empowering customers with the intelligence needed to build new service and business models. It's about improving products and services over time. It's also about enjoying you know, better relationships with customers because now you're able to understand their needs better. Yes, it ultimately enables you to improve you know, business operations efficiency. It allows you to make intelligent decisions. And in the end, all of these advantages lead to a better data-driven discipline, leading to either revenue growth 
or operational efficiency. Now, if you look at the market of industrial IoT for a minute, I mean, the market is large. And this opportunity, while it's large, like I said before, is a good investment only if it's focused on specific business outcomes. And that brings me to this point around the complexity of IoT. Because IoT solutions, not only are they diverse across many segments and many verticals, there is also complexity around implementing IoT into your business. Now, while we help our customers address this complexity with the fundamentals of IoT, which I'll touch upon, what we're essentially doing is addressing this complexity by helping customers securely connect any number of devices to the cloud, providing infrastructure at scale as needed so that they can gain insight into the data that's coming from these assets. And then they're able to build applications and services at much better rate to serve their customers and help their business move towards IoT. And ultimately, it's going to create a culture of innovation. In fact, you know, many customers ask us, you know, how does Amazon innovate at the pace at which we do? Now, what this brings about is every IoT use case has a certain set of fundamental requirements. And with AWS IoT, we are addressing that fundamentals of IoT by creating this virtuous cycle of providing device software that runs on devices, providing control services, and then providing data services. So the device software enables you to securely connect devices, gather data, take intelligent actions locally, even when internet connectivity is not available. And then control services allows you to control, manage, and secure large and diverse device fleets. And then data services allows you to extract value from the IoT data. Now, this is a good segue into the next section where we will look at Domo that's going to present their IoT proposition and how they're really delivering value and business value to customers. Thank you, Prashant. Um, we'll go into the Domo IoT cloud now. So how does Domo, how does Domo make it easy? I mean, we heard from Prashant about how it is, it is complex and really getting um, to be able to use the data to solve business problems um, is, is difficult and is a challenge. And Domo does that by, um, by building a platform to connect all of your data and systems and, and people. So we have built this platform to enable you to be able to focus on the business outcomes that you need from your IoT data. And it's this platform that allows us to really show um, ROI and value quickly. We're typically spinning up proof of concepts within two to three weeks because we, you know, we've invested in this, in this complete platform that does a lot of the work for us. So now we can focus on um, delivering the business outcomes and really showing, getting, getting the data in the hands of the business to, um, to actually use. And we're going to talk a little bit about how we do that. Obviously, we, 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 we do it um, in a way that, that makes it very easy with our clients. And, and that's shown um, with all of our customer satisfaction. And we are solving these problems across all kinds of industries, um, really, because, you know, IoT data is so readily available and applicable you know, in all of in all of these industries, so there's lots of use cases that we're that we're solving that for. And if we talk about the platform a little bit, how are how are we doing this? And what we're doing is we have a platform that that starts with connecting to the data, so connecting to IoT Core and the AWS services um, that Prashant mentioned. And then we have the platform that brings the data together and combines it and the ETL services underneath it. And then on top of that, we can build the, the dashboard and other visuals as well as, as apps, purpose-built apps that really can help answer the business question. So because we have all of the connectivity and the you know rapidly bringing the data in 
and um, the the framework to build these apps, we can do those like you know, we mentioned the proof of concept in two to three weeks, we can we can surface these business outcomes much more quickly. So we're not cobbling together different pieces, different connectivity. We have that framework. So now we can focus on just just the meaningful part that really is um, solving the business problems that that Prashant mentioned. So a little picture of that framework and another way of how we're, we're, we're putting these purpose-built apps on top of our platform. So if we start with the devices, the connectivity, you know, we have over a thousand connections to different data sources. So in addition to, you know, IoT core and the device data, we can bring in data from your finance or your ERP and other systems so that you can have a, a much more, um, so, so the business problems you can solve are much more meaningful. It's no longer just a report or a static dashboard on just your IoT data completely separate from, from the rest of your business data. And some of the, some of the purpose-built apps that we have built on top of this, this platform that Demo has is a fleet management app, production shop floor app, and asset tracking apps, and we'll show you we'll show you some of these um, coming up. And so I think we showed the what's not very easy, and this is our architecture diagram in, in, in the simplest form. And and as you can see, this is this is much easier bringing data, you know, from the edge into IoT core and analytics, and then and then straight into Domo. Here's a little flavor of some of the connectors. Um, these are some of our IoT specific connectors, but again, you know, we have the thousand connectors, so we're connecting your sales data and all of your other data sources in. So not only can you track a truck and you can see where the truck is and the temperature of the truck, kind of typical IoT numbers, but I can tell you what's in the truck. I can tell you who the driver of the truck is. I can tell you much more. Um, um, interesting data that can help that can help be combined to really to really start using that data as a tool in your business. So if we think about you know again you know Prashant mentioned you know what what's the business problem you're trying to solve and so because we have this platform now we're saying what's the business so we're taking away the steps to connect the the steps to get the data and to store it and all of that. And we're focusing on what's the business problem and how can we most creatively creatively solve this. And so, you know, in fast food and retail, you're probably, you know, reports are sent, you know, nightly or at the end of the night or in the morning. And, and what if you could really start to answer your business questions in real time with that data? What if the manager of the store is able to see more of this data on an iPad or on a on a you know on a laptop um, and be able to make decisions in the store, you know, right then. So you have all of the data, not just the dashboard, in real time. You know, and 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 again, you know, with other with the other use cases, if you're tracking manufacturing. And again, um, making it easy to answer these business questions and alert you. And um, you know, it's not happening in a in a siloed point solution. It's on this platform that's providing you know alerts to your phone or alerts to your your mobile device instead of you know in some other kind of static point solution or dashboard. You're able to answer these business questions. And again, another use case. You know where where are all my assets, and am I am I using them efficiently? Uh, can I can I can I see all of this information in real time and make decisions that can really change my business? And another use case about the garments and and information on them that could help me make other business decisions. Talking about the device fleet management app, and I think what we want to talk about here is. Um, the different way that Domo apps can can show this data and and you know we've talked about the platform and with the the purpose built apps what it allows us to do to really solve those business problems and not just create a dashboard is be much more creative about the UI that is available to to present this data you know the IoT data as well as 
um, data from other from other systems. So here we're looking at the devices, consumer devices, and I can see in a heat map, you know, kind of the where they're most um, dominant, where where my market is. I can drill down into it and see other data within there, all the way down to the device, and all in real time. And so this is much different than a static. Um, report or dashboard and that's what the demo platform has enabled me to do to build these much more feature rich visual rich um, tools to help me solve business problems and so here we can see it kind of in in fast time and you can see some of the stats on the left I can see you know what days were high activity um, I can see um, why there was different high activity and um, what the details about that customer is, bringing in other demographic data, drilling into the device in by Boston <laughs> and see other markets if they're underperforming or where they're where they are, where we are a much more dominant market, and then really start making decisions in my business and in my product to 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 increase sales and to you know decrease problems with the devices. But again, just really a different, much more feature rich way of of consuming and using your IoT data. Same with the with the production flow and um, the plant. And so this is looking at plant health. I can quickly see, you know, in the morning what what plants are are having some difficulties or some issues. They're highlighted in red. So of course I could get this on a report and it would be just a static report. Maybe it's adjusted in real time, but it's much nicer for me and easier for me to quickly look at this and pinpoint where I need to focus my efforts drilling down into that plant and seeing exactly where I'm drilling down right into the device, into the freezer, and I'm being able to diagnose, you know, what the problem may be much more quickly, so much more efficient use of my time. And again, in real time, I'm seeing, you know, the Wisconsin plants experiencing low output, Dallas is having a problem, Wisconsin is as well, the weather is you know, the weather is outside data, bringing that in. Mixer number three is vibrating. Now going on into the freezer and, and where it, the temperature issue is and how long it's going to take me to, <laughs> to get someone there. And the mobile asset tracking. And again, this just continues to highlight how um, different these purpose-built apps can be because of the flexibility of the demo platform. So because we've taken you know, the other work out of um, the process, the connectivity and all of that, we can really focus on these apps. So this is tracking um, trucks as they come in from a distribution center. And, you know, these, some of these things are, some of these places, these lots are huge, miles long. And being able to quickly find these trucks is an app that, you know, can, can track the device that's on these tractors. The, it can be in a, in a mobile-ready app that can be used by, you know, the managers on the lots and the drivers on the lots to quickly find the containers that they need. Um, you can get the alerts right on your phone. And, you know, just a varying degree of um, visualization that can really help me as well as, you know, the other data about what, what else is in the truck, how long it's been sitting there, when it needs to leave other data and other visuals from everyone from the manager, you know, to, to their manager. So really, really, again, bringing this IoT data to life and, and helping solve a real business problem to save, to save money on, you know, getting these, um, getting these containers in and out much more efficiently. I mean, most of them are, are rented and leased as well. And so, you know, managing those costs efficiently. So I hope that gave you a broad overview of the different types of apps that, you know, the platform, the Domo platform can support. And, and by our, our partnership with AWS, we have the, the power to quickly connect to this data and bring it in and make sense of it and, and store it. And then with the Domo platform, you also can build these, these really feature rich functional apps that can, that can really get to solve business problems. 
and because we do have this platform we can um, we can we can go to a proof of concept and and really tangibly show you some meaningful value from your IoT data relatively quickly and I think that's been a lack in the market that there are some point solutions um, and there are some other you know large tools that allow you to you know cobble different pieces together which can get very expensive um, and the Doma platform you don't you don't need to do that you have that infrastructure. And then it supports building these building these apps. So hopefully we can we can get to these these outcomes um, much more quickly, um, and really help you guys focus on on managing your business. So I want to thank you for your time today. Thank you, Prashant. Um, there's some links here on how you can learn more and um, get started with a proof of concept today. So thank you. Hey, thank you, Stacy. Hey, just to wrap up um, in terms of suggested next steps, like Stacy talked about, I do want to highlight that the AWS partner community and partners like Domo play a key role in addressing the un the unlimited opportunity the IoT presents. So, as we talked about, the AWS IoT addresses the fundamentals of IoT with the broad and deep set of services, and then to address the complexities and be responsive to a diverse set of use case needs. Partners like Domo build solutions that are very outcome driven and very business insights driven. And with this approach, you know, you're know you really focused on your success in helping you to take the full advantages and benefits that AWS has to offer. So I think with this webinar, our intent was to showcase a few examples of how the partner community is adding value with AWS. So I would like to thank you from the side of AWS for taking the time to watch this webinar and also would like to thank Domo for the partnership.